we are. The Schuylkill River. Well, that's that's the Schuylkill River. This is the Schuylkill River Trail. Look at this. Beautiful fall day here in the city of brotherly love. Don't let it fool you. It's not that late in the day. It's is it is it past five o'clock? It is five p.m. exactly. Uh, today's the day we set the clocks back an hour, and uh, today's the day where my seasonal depression gets kicked in the high gear because it's dark at five o'clock. Who the hell? Look at this. Who had a horse on this trail? A pile of horse shit. All right. So this is the Schuylkill River Trail because it's a trail next to the Schuylkill River. Uh, back in August of 2021, Hurricane Ida flooded all of this. This was, the water came up to probably up to here on the wall. And uh, the, the trail was closed for a few days. It was amazing how quickly this city recovered from that hurricane. There we go. Look, my man's wearing a kilt. Let's go. Nice kilt day. There we go. So you can follow this trail. I, I, I'm not... You can follow this trail. It'll get you to the Kelly Drive. Kelly Drive is this beautiful scenic road with Boathouse Row and all types of things. And... Um, I'm almost certain you could take this trail and it will get you to Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, which is about 30 miles away. Is 30 miles? Is that right? That sounds about right. One of these, oh. Like you know, I don't think I would ever go running with a friend. I would never even think about it. You kidding me? Hey, what are you doing, Jim? Oh, I'm not in cap. I'm just hanging out. Want to go for a run? Nah, nah, that's a horrible idea. Why don't we just have some beers and watch some uh, sporting event? All right, Jim. Sounds like a plan. Speaking of sporting events, this is a skate park. Watch out, Tony Hawk. Actually, I think this park was designed by Rob Deerdeck. If you know who Rob Deerdeck is, he, uh, you know, he's from Robin Big. Let's go up. Let me go down. Ooh, oh, shit. Let's do it. Tony Hawk. Smells like marijuana. And I think that's the smell of every skate park. Uh, it's dusty roads, polka dots. Pretty much what they do is they there, there used to be a park down the way called Love Park, and Love Park was kind of built like this where there were steps, and the skaters used the steps to grind on. So what they what they did is they realized instead of like, um, man, look at this. This is beautiful street art. Um, They found out, oh, if we give them skate parks, they'll stop grinding on our statues and plaques. Which they still do, but it's not as bad as it used to be. There was like a while where skateboard was like really, it was like, ooh, skateboarders, they're the worst. I didn't feel that way. I was, I wasn't a skateboarder. My friends were all skateboarders. I was a, ugh. I was a punk rocker. So, uh, punk rock and skateboarding, they go hand in hand. The building right there, the building has the uh, Phillies P and lights. Yeah. So those two tall buildings, they're owned by Comcast or Xfinity, whatever they're called now. Um, the one with the the one that kind of looks like the middle finger sticking up. It's supposed to look like a USB drive. Um, that's the newer one. That's the newer skyscraper in the city. It's uh, the sixth tallest building in the United States of America. For a long time, Philadelphia, the building straight ahead 
with the um, the building straight ahead with the statue on top. That's Philadelphia City Hall. There was this unwritten rule called the Gentleman's Agreement where uh, architects and people building buildings in this area, they were not allowed to build a building taller than Billy Penn's hat. Um, Edmund Bacon, who is actually the father of Kevin Bacon, he was the city controller at that time. So it was really him keeping the city below Billy Penn's hat. Now the problem with us keeping buildings as tall as Billy Penn, I think that's like 30 stories. Uh, it kind of stunted the growth of the city of Philadelphia. In the 70s, there was a mass exodus of companies. Um, and I think it was all over America. In the, in, industries were dying. And uh, what we needed to get in the center city were some uh, white collar jobs. So we needed more skyscrapers to have more offices to be in center city. And uh, I think in like 1985-ish, uh, William Roush um, uh, started, he built a building called Liberty One, and there was another building called Liberty Two, and they, then began the skyscraper building era of Philadelphia. I don't know. Is that a proper term? Probably not. So this is the Rocky statue, which is the number one uh, visited item in America, number one tourist attraction. People come from all around the world to take their picture with the Rocky Balboa statue. Rocky, the statue was unveiled in the movie Rocky III. Um, and for a while, it was on top of the art museum steps, but then the art museum kind of had a thing. They're like, oh, it's not really art, it's a movie prop. So then they moved the Rocky statue to in front of the building where the Sixers and Flyers used to play. And um, after they moved, made the movie Rocky F Balboa, Rocky Balboa, Rocky Six, they moved the Rocky statue to here, right next, next to the, the art museum. And so everybody who comes to Philly, they run up these steps and they take a picture with that statue. Right. Now we're going to be scooting down the Ben Franklin Parkway, um, one of the uh, big arteries to get you from Center City to Fairmount. It gets you from uh, the, the Art Museum steps all the way to City Hall. Oh, I hate that it's this dark this early. Let's go. During the summer months, we have concerts. Jay-Z has a festival in here called Made in America. Um, <clears throat> during the 4th of July, there's a really big fireworks display in this section. people make cars yeah I, I hate those people if you have a car and your muffler sounds like gunshots um, you, you're a horrible human being nobody likes you your next-door neighbors I'll tell you this for a fact your next-door neighbors they have a voodoo doll of you and they, they they shove pins in their eyes in your eyes every day they hate you everybody hates you all, on the Ben Franklin Parkway they have all the flags of all the nations in the world it looks like these flags are getting cleaned right now. But sometimes, like, I think we had the flag of North Korea up in this section for a bit. And it, I think they took it down. They had to take it down because it was getting protested. So, man, it's so nice out today. We're coming up to the Rodan Museum. 
Rodan's that guy who came who uh, is made up the thinker. He made up. The, he's the artist who designed the thinker. That's the way to say it. Here is the Thinker statue. Right here. There you go. The question is, what is he thinking about? Is he thinking about anything? And the que I say he is. He's thinking about something. If you take a good close look, there's kids climbing on it, so we're not going to do that today. But if you take a good close look at, at his feet and his hands, they're clench. He's he's either uh, extremely angry or extremely I don't know. There's something going on with the thinker's mind. He's th but that who the hell would think he's not thinking of anything? The guy's name is the thinker. Holy God! All right. This is the uh, Barnes Foundation. Albert Barnes uh, was a uh, art art collector and he has probably the greatest private art collection uh, owned by a human being of impressionistic art he um, he had a museum and it was um, right outside of Philadelphia in a little city called Lower Marion and um, somehow after his death he had a, he had a will and his will said yo you keep my art in my house in Lower Marion. I don't want to see that shit anywhere else. So he dies. He gets in a car accident. He dies. Uh, and then some ladies running his art. And, you know, art people, they're not good business people. So they, they make some bad decisions. And eventually, uh, somebody gets... Some college becomes the owner of this art museum. And... One of the things the guy said, Albert Barnes was like, yo, keep my shit in Lower Marion. Don't ever do an art show anywhere. Just keep it here. And um, it turned it eventually. So here's the, the, the story of it. Philadelphia steals the guy's art. We have a museum of it. It's, it's one of the most in, impressive private art collections in the world there's paintings the, this museum to put this in like this is crazy to think about this this building right here and the art inside this building are worth more than some nations like it's a fact there's a painting worth 300 million dollars i think it's the uh card players by Cezanne oh i could be wrong Cezanne might be wrong but it's the card players and it's you know, there's Van Gogh's in there, and it, it's a really, it's a really great museum. If you ever saw the show, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. This fountain, which is, uh, it's called the Logan Square. This is Logan Square. The fountain itself is called the Swan Fountain. But uh, if you've ever seen the uh, beginning of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, this park is part of the opening sequence. Uh, fun fact, if you watch the beginning of the show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, none of the credits are shown during daytime. It's all filmed at night. The park is probably... There were five... There are four squares in Philadelphia, and this park here uh, is probably the uh, least attractive. Um, also, you know, crazy homeless people take baths in the fountain. So it's, you know, if you're going to come to see the fountains or to see the parks of Philadelphia, that would be the last one I would go to. Matter of fact, I would go to this park first, Sister Square Park. In the summertime, they have a little wave pool in here. And there's like a little tiny stream and the kids can play and swim. <coughs> it's a tiny, tiny for like toddlers. But it's it's a nice little park. Back in 2015, 
uh, Pope Francis came to Philadelphia. Uh, he gave he did mass on the Parkway. And he said mass inside this building. This is says uh, Pope John Paul gave mass here. And Pope Francis said mass here. Absolutely one of the most beautiful buildings in the city. And uh, you cut through here, there's actually a saint buried in this church, uh, Catherine Drexel, who was Philadelphia's only saint who was born in Philadelphia. She's buried right here. Um, and this talks the story about Catherine Drexel and who she was and what she did. And her grave is right here. She was. They must have just got done doing mass. You know what? Let's do it. I haven't done a little holy water the way go. Let's go. What are we doing? And when the Pope, he, I think he gave mass in front of the art museum steps. And this little statue here, the Amour. Which lo looks just like our uh, love statue at Love Park. This little statue sat behind the Pope when he said mass. So this is Dilworth Park, named after uh, a mayor in Philadelphia in the 40s named Richard Dilworth. And uh, I got some fantastic news for you. If you are a fan of Christmas, everything's coming up snowy today. Look at this. The Rothman cabin's open. Um, so what, this is Philadelphia City Hall, and what they do during the summer, they have a little bar. You come here, you grab a drink, uh, and they have a roller skating rink. And in the wintertime, they put in this ice skating rink. Looks more like a pool today because of the, uh, the weather being so hot. Look at that. All right. Let's go. Oh, I got talk because of the music. The Blair Witch Project deer are here for another year. So this is called the Winter Garden. And pretty much what the Winter Garden consists of is a bunch of dead plants and they formed them into shit. So this is a bunch of twigs and you got a little thing you take a picture of. through in this spot they have little tables and chairs your family like, come here have lunch um, you don't need to buy food anywhere you can just come here and sit um, and here they are the Blair Witch Project deer pretty much um, if you google the word nightmare fuel this is what comes up I'm not really sure what these things are supposed to be. Made some updates. Look at this one. Oh boy. Yeah. That's what greets you when you when you go to the ga gates of hell. This thing. Hello, welcome to hell.
This uh, was a Wawa. Wawa's are a convenience store. Uh, they used to be exclusively in this area of Pennsylvania, but now they're all over the country. And uh, this Wawa was shut down for safety reasons. Uh, people would go in and, and loot the store. Uh, they would deal with crazy homeless people all the time. So they just said, you know what, instead of dealing with all the shoplifting and crime and all that bullshit, how about we just shut the doors? And that's what they did. And there was another Wawa not too far from here where they shut down the doors too. And I don't think that one was as unsafe as the one I was just at. Uh, they recently closed down two Starbucks in this area. Um, for the same reason, safety reasons. And, and their safety reasons are asshole teenagers and crazy homeless people. Well, I hope you enjoyed this scooter ride with me. We saw the Blair Witch Project here. We went to church. We did, we, uh, was this the Rocky Steps one? Wow, there's a lot of stuff happening on this. And we even did the Schuylkill River Trail. If you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. And if you want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. And if, oh, oh, hello, friend. Ooh. If you, uh, if you need me to give a birthday greeting or roast anybody, I am now on Cameo. Book me on Cameo. And uh, if you're not doing anything on Sunday morning, join me for a cup of coffee here, live on YouTube. Well, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Toodles!